Hi, welcome to our web design video blog, Winnick and James from Creo. You may remember last week we did a video blog on how to integrate Google Maps onto your web page, and we also looked at Google's directions gadget. If you missed last week's video, you can get it here. This week we're going to uh, show you how to add your business onto Google Maps if it's not already there, or if it is there, we're going to show you how to claim the listing so that you can edit the information that's on there. So in order to add your business to Google Maps, or if it's already on there and you want to claim the listing, all you need to do is go to google.co.uk forward slash maps. And you see over here on the left, there's a link that says put your business on Google Maps. So all you have to do is click that. You'll need to have a Google account. As you can see, I'm already logged in on mine. Um, it's fairly straightforward to sign up for one. If you don't have one, it's completely free. As long as you've got an existing email address, you can sign up. Um, as you can see, I've already got Create Design in my local business center, which is where you manage Google Maps. Um, if you're obviously starting out, then there won't be um, any listings here. It'll just purely say, add new listing and upload a data file. So whether you're claiming a listing or adding a new listing, just simply click Add New Listing. Uh, so for this demonstration, obviously, because Creo is already on Google Maps, um, we'll just make up a business. So we'll uh, call it, I don't know, uh, James's Cake Shop. That you can bake, James? Uh, so uh, we'll use one of our offices in Lutterworth, you know, for this example. So 16A, Church Street, Lutterworth, Leicestershire. As you can see already on the right hand side, um, Google's actually making my listing and how it's going to appear on Google Maps so I can sort of keep an eye on it. Quite important to add a telephone number. In terms of verifying this in a moment, it's a lot easier if you actually add a telephone number in rather than having to wait for the uh, postal verification, but I'll show you that in a moment. So let's just pop in one of our office numbers. Uh, pop in my email address. Again, website's quite important to put that on there. James's Cakes. Uh, could put a description in, but again, well, once you've got this uh, listing validated, you can come back and edit it at any time. So I'll come back and you know come back and edit that later. So adding a category, uh, let's have a look. So cake, there we go, cake makers and decorators. Also, what's quite important is to make sure that the marker is in the exact location. You know, so you can see already that you know Google's put it pretty much the right place. But when you've got people walking around, um, you know, particularly cities like London, you know, with their iPhones, with Google Maps running, you know, they literally walk to the door. So it can be very important to make sure that the marker is in the exact location. So you can switch to satellite view, for example, uh, zoom right in, um, and I could move this literally. Let's just say uh, this building in front of this green van here is my exact uh, bakery. I could drop that right on to update it and click save. Okay, so that's the basis of our listing. So even at this stage, even if I was claiming a listing, you still have to go through this process um, because what it's gonna do now that we push next is to check to see if the listing already exists. So as you can see, it's waiting to see if we can find our business. Um, if it doesn't, like it hasn't here, because obviously there isn't a James's Cake Shop, it'll just take you through to add the business listing. So what you would have seen there, if the listing was already in place, is um, a little, it's like a little green marker that says claim this listing. So if you click claim this listing, it'll actually take you through the same process that we're going to go through now to bring that uh, into your account. So at this stage, you can enter some further information um, like your uh, opening hours, what payment options you accept. You could upload photographs. So you know these are ideally storefronts. Um, you know potentially you could put like your logo up and so forth. But I think ideally that they're like the the shop front of your premises. Um, if relevant, you can also add videos, and then you could also attach further details like um, you know parking and brands that you sell uh, that sort of thing. Okay, so once it's all in place again, you can just sort of review it over here on the right. So we've got James's Cake Shop, the address, telephone number, website address, and the exact location. So now we're ready to submit this, or if we were claiming, we would claim the listing after editing it. And uh, in order to um, validate this, we've got to obviously authorize, uh, validate the listing. So um, the best way to do this is to actually validate this by telephone. So obviously if you've entered a telephone number, what they want to do is call you to give you the PIN number in order to verify your listing. Um, if you don't have a telephone number or you don't want to, um, you can actually do it by postcard. Um, this takes a couple of weeks. You can tick postcard and they'll essentially send you the PIN number you need to validate this listing um, you know, through your door, which I said, the trouble with this is it takes a couple of weeks. So if you've got your phone number all logged in, you could click by telephone like so. 
and then click finish. So what's important here is if you're doing this for yourself, you need to make sure obviously you're available now to answer the telephone. But if you're doing this for your client, if you're a web designer, you need to make sure that before you push that submit button that we've just done, you need to call your client and tell them they're about to get a phone call from Google. This won't actually be a physical person, it'll be like a robotic voice giving you the PIN number. So you need to make sure that they don't hang up the telephone thinking it's you know, someone trying to sell them something. They need to write down the PIN number they're going to be told. So across the road now in our office, the phone will be ringing and um, someone will pick this up and probably write down the, the PIN number. So it's very important to make sure you, you, before you push that finish button, which we just clicked a moment ago, that you inform the client, or if it's for your own company, to make sure that you sat next to the phone ready to get this PIN number. So once the phone is, uh, the phone is rung and I've picked up the telephone and taken the PIN number off them, I simply punch it in down here, so where it says awaiting verification, enter the PIN number and click go. Um, if that fails, um, I'm not, I don't think you can do it again, but you can do with the verification, i.e. you can do, then do it through the post. So once you've verified your listing, you then have the ability to edit it, like I can edit the create design listing here, or if you're adding a new listing to Google Maps, um, usually within 24 hours or so, it's live on Google Maps. Um, so again, once it's all listed and verified, you can then uh, freely edit the information as you wish in the future. So that's how to add your business to uh, Google Maps. Also probably worth mentioning is that Apple released their latest operating system update today, Snow Leopard. Um, a couple of guys in our office were asking whether it's worthwhile upgrading, um, and for the sake of £25, we think it is. The new system's going to be uh, quicker and easier to use, more reliable, so if you're re uh, running Creator Suite on a laptop, for example, you should find that it will speed up quite a lot. Also, the operating system is um, 7 gigabytes smaller, so it should actually free up space on your computer, and again, if you're using a laptop, that's quite a lot of space. Okay, if you've got any questions or comments about our video about today, please leave them on the YouTube channel or our blog. And thanks for watching.